As you can imagine, in Dallas, all eyes for days now have been on a little town 77 miles south. It is the town of West, shattered by that massive explosion at a fertilizer plant where 200 people were injured, 14 people died. Among them, so many first responders, volunteer firefighters who knew it was dangerous but rushed in to help. ABC's Steve Osinsami has been there from the very first night and spent the day with the people of West Texas again. The volunteer first responders were everyday people racing to that burning fertilizer depot. Factory workers, salesmen, repairmen heading straight into danger. There's a big explosion and our house is just destroyed. In these newly released calls for help, My God, what has happened? you can hear the panic. Look, our house, our whole windows, everything has sounded like a bomb. Pat Grimm, a real estate agent by day, helped fight the fire that night. He says what most people don't know is that those brave volunteers knew the plant would blow, but stayed there, dousing the flames, buying them time to evacuate the nursing home across the street. We were able to evacuate those people. There could have been 30, 40 lives lost because they didn't delay the fire. For the first time, we're hearing from firefighters who were inside that terrible disaster. They say the explosion instantly tore apart two of their fire trucks, flattened homes nearby, and killed their friends on site. My wife and my kids are keeping me, help keeping me together. Firefighter Cody Dragoo was killed in the force of the blast. He worked at the fertilizer plant and organized the yearly barbecue where he and his brothers at the firehouse raised thousands of dollars for new equipment and new trucks. He was the absolute grill master. They also lost Morris Bridges, who fixed fire sprinklers for a living and loved his motorcycle. Kenneth Lucky Harris, Lucky with an E, who ran a home inspection business. And brothers Robert and Doug Snookhouse, both iron workers and fathers and husbands. Doug had a saying, especially to his wife, when she told, would tell him to be careful when he was going on fire call. He would always respond, the good die young. The good die young. And if Doug was here, I'd tell him, indeed, the good do die young. Today, they started preparing for their first funeral. Joey Potowski was just 29 years old, the town secretary, a God-fearing man. They'll bury him tomorrow. I think about Joey, I just picture his son's face, and, and I... I makes me think about my own children and you know what could have been is the word brave big enough for the men who fell here you know these guys are true heroes we are all so moved by their story and steve osinsami is here now steve diane 70 percent of firefighters across the country are volunteers like the great men and women of west who work with so little and have asked us to thank the country for all of the support and all of the prayers they've received. And again, I know you've been there every step of the way. Good to see you, Steve.